calling up our co-feature of the evening. Former Olympian out of Orotokan, Russia, 25 victories, one lone defeat, 13 KOs. Matt Gorobal facing off against one of the most rugged fighters in pro boxing, fighting out of the capital of Texas, Austin, Brian Beda. Beda Koroboff, our co-feature eight rounds in the welterweight division, once again being brought to you by Bob Aram's Top Rank Incorporated, along with La Cerveza de Cate Born Bowl. 162 and three quarter pounds, 162 and three quarters for the former Olympian, Matt Koroboff. Co-feature at the bomb factory is Kordobov and Beda. He was the right way. He don't lose no energy. He's, he's, uh, he started out not dry. In other words, he was already in the gym like, three days a week, two days a week. And then, then when the training camp started, he was already kind of ready. Author G.K. Chesterton once wrote, the true soldier fights not because he hates what's in front of him, but because he loves what is behind him. Matvey Korobov is that statement personified. Russian-born, draped in country colors, he's made a home in another backyard of similar hues. After a brilliant amateur career that garnered Olympic medal success and a pro career following suit, it hasn't been without struggle and strife. After facing derailment in his first chance at a title, he followed up with a solid comeback victory and continues to reach the pinnacle that has eluded him for so long. Some find that pinnacle in other forms. Maybe it's the belief that streams from one soul to another, creating a sense of duty, strength, and will. Maybe it's the agony of loss. Uh, good luck. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the fight. Thank you. See you. Parting ways with what has become routine and safe, abandoning hope for the traditional path in exchange for a more abstract one. Played soccer two days a week, three days a week sometimes, but it was comfortable. So when he came back, for the hard for the six weeks. He was already in some kind of shape. I'm really confident. <laughs> or perhaps they find that pinnacle in the form of life. A brand new breath. A reason for rising from the depths. Through all the pain, the heartache, the weight, this is one step closer to a shot at redemption. A chance to piece together what was lost in the wreckage. An opportunity to create the love necessary for a soldier to win a war. He's, by him having a wife now and a child, it makes a totally different guy. I'm, I'm, I'm very proud of him on, on what he's accomplished, man. Cold man. Where are you Ah, just <laughs> nice job. Like <laughs> <laughs> being a Russian. <laughs> Texas was the Olympic trials in '84. Wow. He was there. And Melvin Taylor was there. Yeah, I was there. You were there. That's yeah. what I was gonna say. I'm no Where were you in 1984? Let me see. Seven.
Yes, we got that. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing the colors of his homeland, red, white, and blue, presentando la esquina azul, el dos veces campeón mundial a nivel amateur. The Olympic 2008, the two-time world amateur champion and OE Olympian, representing Orodugan, Russia, Mate Asked to define hope, Aristotle replied, it is a waking dream. If there's any waking dream on this night, it's a family man's stubborn drive to become world champion, to climb into an echelon that few human beings dare to consider. It takes a village, a village to raise a child, a collective to raise a champion. Each facing their own respective challenges with the same desired outcome. Success. A waking dream. <laughs> <laughs>